What is up guys, Pocketcraft here, and today I'm going to be teaching you a super simple way to have a dog actually guard your house or your storage room or whatever you want it to guard. And so first off, we're going to the materials. What you're going to need for this, it's not a lot, you're just going to need an iron door, two stone pressure plates, some wool, some redstone, not as much as I'm showing here. You only need two pieces of wool and not nearly as much redstone. I'm just showing you the items you'll need. None of this is in exact amounts besides the door and the pressure plates. You'll need some building blocks, and you'll need some stairs, some slabs, and then obviously you'll need a wolf and then some bones so you can tame it. Um, so just getting started, you will obviously need a house or a storage room or something that you actually want to secure here and have the dog guard it. And so what you're gonna do from there is you need to build, you put the two wool right here. You're gonna want it from the corner of your house, go three up and then three over will be the where the wool starts. And then you put your pressure plates on top of that. And then from there, what you wanna do is build a little dog house around, oops, I did that wrong, excuse me. Start here, build a dog house around this pressure plate. And so you'll do that right there. This just looks nice for symmetry. It doesn't need to be like that. Get the... Sorry about that. Then once the house is like that, you'll need to put stairs all around it like this. And then just so you guys know, I got this idea from uh, Magma's video. I will link that in the description. But he doesn't talk in his, and I prefer to listen to tutorials that talk sometimes. So I thought it'd be nice to give you guys one where they're speaking. Then you put slabs on top, just like that. So after you finish the doghouse here, what you're going to want to do is add the redstone circuit. So you're going to want to dig down here. You want to go down two blocks. And then you're going to dig over until you want to get under the pressure plates here, which is right there. So you got to go and put redstone like this. And then you need to connect it over here. So we're going to dig down. Um, you need to go all the way under here and then just break the top block right here and then connect the redstone all the way back like that. And so now that you have your circuit, you can place the door. So you have to make sure you place it the right way. It has to be like that. It can't be closed or this isn't going to work right. So you want to open like that. And then you're going to want to cover up this here. Let me get some dirt. I should have put that in the materials list. I'm sorry. You want to cover up some dirt. Cover this up with dirt. So people don't see what's going on here. Um, that'll go over to grass in a little bit so it won't be as bad. And then what you need to do is you need to get your dog in here. So for you guys, the easiest way would probably be to find a dog, tame it, and then it'll just follow you over here and then have it sit near here and you can just push it in. It'll be a little of a hassle, but it's not too bad. I tested it out over there on my test one. But then for me, I can just spawn it in there and I'll tame him. Oopsies. Um, so once he's tamed, you want to make sure he's, well, yours as well would be tamed. Have them sit in here, and then they can't get in here without breaking a block. So obviously they could break it, but other than that, I mean, the door isn't going to open for any reason, and they can't get the dog out without breaking blocks, or they could kill him, but that's kind of messed up. But if you want to get in, all you have to do is go stand, and then your dog, in just a second, is going to path find over to you, and the door opens. And then you can go in here, and if you actually put valuables in here, you can go to that. If this is your house, you can come in. Or you could even use this as a decoy and make your friends on the server think there's things in here when there's really not. It's just something I might do in my Flamingo Craft server if you guys haven't checked that out. And then you can put um, your valuables somewhere else and just have this as a decoy. But that's going to be it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.